you're watching CXK Disruptors, our new series dedicated to inspiring innovation in business. I'm your host, Sandeep Sajani. Today we're talking about disruption in the payment space. This segment has seen incredible growth catalyzed by the global pandemic and consumers' increased dependence on digital payment solutions. I'm joined today by two incredible guests. One, Stevenson, the CEO of Modular, and two, Mark Hoburn, the chair of Pay UK. Thank you so much for joining us. Mars, perhaps we start with you. Um, could you talk to us a little bit about Modular? Yeah, sure. Um, thank you for the opportunity to join you, Sandeep. And uh, so Mod Modular, how we think about Modular is a modern financial operations hub. So bringing together all the tools and services that a finance director, payments operations person, treasurer needs to be able to run the, the money flows in and out of their business. So we're making it easy for people to flow money in, flow money out of their business and control that at the centre. So it can be aimed at efficiencies, uh, making things easier to manage, taking friction out, but also integrating new payments into the into platforms, into services to enable companies to monetize payments as well. Fantastic. Thanks, Miles. Um, Mark, um, could you tell us a bit more about Pay UK? Yeah, so Pay UK is part of the hidden wiring of the UK economy. Uh, you won't know it, but we make sure that when you your salary paid into your bank account, through that a direct debit, we're behind that. Uh, when you pay your utility bill, uh, we power that through through banks. Uh, if you make a payment through your app on your phone, your bank app, uh, through Barclays or Lloyd's, uh, and you use something called Faster Payments, and we run that. And we also process and clear checks. So we're really part of where the technical term is a uh, interbank retail rail. How has Pay UK been focused over the last year? or 18 months as we've seen this uh, enormous acceleration with uh, digital payments through the pandemic? So I think there's probably three things I, I'd point to, Sandeep. The first is, you know, we have seen a big shift. Uh, you know, we know that the number of cash transactions has been falling. The pandemic accelerated that change. Uh, the same thing's happened with uh, checks. So there has been a big shift to digital payments. And you think about, you know, before the pandemic, we'd have gone out with, with perhaps money in our pocket, I'd buy a cup of coffee or a newspaper, now we're much more likely to tap a card on a machine. So we are seeing that shift in digital payments. So there's a big change happening in the economy. I think there, there's, a, there's been another positive from the pandemic. We've, we work very closely with partners, people like HMRC, the government, for example, to facilitate through our payment systems, uh, things like the self-employed income support scheme. Uh, so we're really trying to think about how you use a payment system in a different way. So different variation of the, mm -hmm. the innovation that Mars was talking about. And that's been a very positive thing. The, the downside has been an increase in fraud. You know, and we've seen the, both the volume and value of app scams increase, now bigger than card fraud. Uh, and of course, what's happened is that fraudsters have exploited the fact where perhaps working at home, uh, they're, they're exploiting technology. Uh, we know, you know examples of people impersonating the post office or HMRC. So we have seen the increase in fraud. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's a real challenge, actually, because although it's a effect a relatively small proportion of transactions, it, it's costing over you know, billions of pounds a year. Uh, so we, it is something that's very much on the agenda of everyone across the payment system about mm -hmm. how do you tackle fraud. But often with these new innovations that are highly disruptive, you come up against problems. Um, mm -hmm. What are the sorts of problems you come up against? The, the journey we're on, so the, the uh, opening up of the payment systems, the regulatory change, the competition in the market, I definitely see that as a, a journey that started and it's amazing what the um, as a country as a whole here whether it's the regulators the, the government the, 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 the payment network operators everyone that's doing mm. um, but it is a starting point and I do believe we've got a lot more to do to make sure it continues mm. and therefore yeah we're very keen that we we continue at pace and I think the UK has been um, leading edge there mm. um, and there's an opportunity to stay ahead but we we won't stay ahead by um, maintaining the status quo as we are now. We need to continue. I don't, you know, completely agree with you, Mark's point around a big believer that a competitive, open payments industry yeah. um, will drive economic growth. What's on your mind in terms of enabling? You know, you're very focused on the environment that needs to exist to help businesses like Miles and others um, to flourish and uh, to drive this um, this this change. Is there a role to play? What role does Pay UK play in, in this way? So I think it's it's in the past we've been simply payments as the operator. Yeah. And um, we've run backs and we've run FPS, we've run the checks. 
And what we've, we've really sort of focused on, of course, the last year is how do we respond to the changing ecosystem mm. that we're operating in? And, you know, I talked earlier on about, you know, about it used to be, you know, payments was dominated by a handful of large banks. Now the landscape is hugely fragmented. Uh, you know, lots of different business models, lots of different uh, businesses out there. And I think one of our challenges as a payment system is operating now is to understand that ecosystem, okay. understand how we develop our services uh, to respond to the changing needs, but also think about uh, how we manage risk. You know, at the core of what we do is robust and resilient payments. Mm. You know, no, no good miles having lots of innovative ideas right. if our systems aren't robust and resilient. Mm. Uh, and that requires us to understand more about the ecosystem uh, and understand how we can help ensure that it is robust and resilient. So mm. we're following a twin track tr approach. We need to support that competition and innovation, but we need to make sure that we are robust and resilient. And I think for us, the, big, the next big step mm. is something called the new payments architecture. Uh, which is a significant transformation program, not just for Pay.UK, uh, but for all our customers. Mm -hmm. uh, and that will happen over the next two or three years, which will improve, I believe, the capacity of the system uh, to process more transactions, mm -hmm. uh, to create more opportunities for competition and innovation, uh, but also to ensure we continue to function mm -hmm. in a robust and resilient fashion. So I think making sure our infrastructure mm -hmm. accommodates the ambitions of, of firms like Modular is really key to helping us continue to drive uh, the economy in the UK.